you know, what I like about this is you're on balance and the amount of head movement is minimal. Yes, you go down and yes, you come back up, but the net effect is at contact. There's very little up and down. There's address, there's impact. So that's really good. That's why you're seeing improvement. Before you were going down and you were popping up early, so the, the balance exercises are definitely paying off. You're maintaining your posture much better. And you're still probably using that powder on your club. Takeaway is a little too far in, but not too bad. And like I said, this is good. This is improvement. And pretty good balance through the strike there. So the thing I want you to be constantly working on is modulating the amount of force, but your primary power source with wedges is trunk and hips, not hands. Your hands, your dominant hand takes over, it's going to go to the right. You got to feel like your trunk, the center of your trunk and your hands need to move as a unit. The upper lead arm needs to stay connected and the primary power source has to be your torso and your hips on those short shots. So this is good though. And in terms of pre-shot routine, you got to be very intentional with the physical and the mental. So you take your practice swing. You pay attention to your where the club is striking the ground, making sure that it's striking the ground at least even with the back of the ball. You make sure that you're seeing the target in your mind. You, you want to see that target your whole swing. Being able, to, being able to see that target image. And then being able to lead with the front hand and the body and pulling with the lead hand, making sure the lead hand is pulling the grip end of the golf club along toward the target so the face doesn't flip. Oh, it's so much better. And that, that powder, don't tell anybody about that because that's improving your game. No, honestly, that, that's huge right there. So... That was straighter, much better. See, and that's about 90 yards, so I'm happy with that. So, as you work on dragging the handle forward and sustaining this lead wrist, the other thing we're working on is separation. Remember, when we can start the downswing from the ground up, you're going to lag the club head, you're going to get more power, you're going to be able to release later instead of release it from the top. When you throw your hands at it from the top, it goes right. All right, so that's good much better I think that uh, you're more purposeful with your practice you're more intentional you're paying attention more to quality instead of quantity practice makes permanent